Hi guys, it's Lindsay, and today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite things in the world, and uh, that is shoes. It has been a while since I have talked about my shoe collection, and it has expanded as it tends to because I truly, truly love shoes. And so today I'm just going to be showing you my newest pairs and most worn and things like that, and hopefully it can give you something to add to your collection or just something to entertain you. I recently saw Internet Girl make a video about her shoe collection, and she just kind of like picked them up and talked about them, and I really like that format. So that's what we're going to be doing if you want to watch them just like on my feet I actually do have a shoe collection that's more like that um, and I made that a couple years ago so you could probably find it if you'd like to so first pair are the ones I'm wearing today and actually the newest addition to my collection I unboxed them this morning and they are the Doc Martin Jadon boot and these are in the vegan leather cherry red super thick platform so punky I just cannot get over them they're amazing I've already worn them them, like I said today and I will put up a picture so you can see how I styled them. I love Doc Martens and I'm sure these are going to get a ton of wear from me in the future. Um, I bought them off Dolls Kill and I do have a Dolls Kill discount. It is DK Lindsay and you can get 15% off which I did use on these and you totally should use it as well if you want a discount. So next up I'll just show my other Docs. These are the 1460s. They're just like the classic 8i boot. They are super muddy as you can tell because I have Worn them everywhere and they're super broken in. They were pretty uncomfortable at first, but I love them now and they're just such a classic. I feel like if you're debating getting Doc Martens, these are the best ones to go for and you really should just go for it. They last forever. They're such an investment. And the last pair of Docs I have, I actually thrifted. These are also 1460s and they are cherry red burgundy velvet and they're just incredible when i found these I, it was just fate i had to get them they only had some like minor scuffing on the front but other than that they're perfect i also have this pair of shiny lace-up boots these are from steve madden and i really love these they're super comfortable they have a heel on them as well as a zipper and they're just kind of like a more form-fitting uh, lace-up boot as you can tell like they're they're a little more tapered compared to how chunky Doc Martens are so I would totally recommend these if you want just kind of like a little more of a feminine boot if you don't like black boots I'm sure you probably already like stopped watching but I also have this pointed pair from Public Desire and these are just so glamorous I feel so dramatic every time I wear these like they just are so extra but you can also pair them with jeans and just like a nice top but you can also wear them with a dress and like a cheetah print coat and just like absolutely kill it so it depends what look you're going for but I do love these and they were pretty cheap as well because all of their shoes are super affordable which is awesome now onto some sneakers these are definitely my favorite shoes of the moment lately I have not stopped wearing them since I got them they are my Nike Air Force ones in white they <laughs> Personally, I just think they did everything right with these shoes and I just absolutely love them. I might get them in black too just because of how much I love them and because these tend to get dirty as you guys can tell but I just love the platform on them and I love the silver detail on the front. I pretty much wear these with like every single outfit uh, but they also look amazing paired with like you know like a nice light sundress like this and like some tall white socks and it just it's a look. These are amazing and I just, I'm so glad that I own them, that I finally went and purchased them because I was on the fence for a while and they just, you know, they're in my heart now. Next up, these are so much dirtier. These are my Vans Skate Highs and as you can tell, they are very well loved, uh, but I just love the like California skater vibe of these. Uh, they come in a ton of different colorways and like styles and stuff now, but this is really my favorite. I don't like the low tops, so this is definitely what I would recommend if you're like going in between the two. I also like the slim style because the stripe goes all the way to the end as opposed to like stopping. And other than that, they're super comfortable, really durable, just like overall great shoes, and I love the black and white. I think they go with everything. Now onto Converse high tops, and just a warning, I have four pairs. I love these shoes, they are so comfortable, I've been wearing them since elementary school, that was like always my shoe of choice, but my two favorite ones are the all white and the all black. I wear these with so many outfits, I would wear both of these with the dress I'm wearing today, 
I tend to get more wear out of the white ones just because they're kind of like the AF ones where they just, you know, they add some brightness. But I also equally love the black ones and I have purchased multiple pairs of them as well. I do have some black and white ones. These I really like wearing with like some khaki pants. Um, I think I would wear them more if they were platform. But I just, you know, I like a bit more of a dramatic shoe these days. And then I also have a super dirty pair of red ones for when I'm feeling extra festive because red is my favorite color and so I, I got these at some point, I can't really remember. So these next shoes I pretty much wear interchangeably. Uh, the first pair are these black lace-up Oxfords from Jeffrey Campbell. These are super gorgeous, I must say. Like, I definitely splurged on them, but they've totally held up over the years and they have like a nice little tiny heel to them and they're just like overall gorgeous shoes. They fit super well and like don't cause blisters somehow. It's magic. And then the shoes I wear in place of those if I want something with a bit more platform are these loafers from ASOS. And the main difference between them is the price. These were like $30 and I have loved the life out of them but they are currently broken so I need to go get them sewn back together because the whole top just kind of like ripped off of this one which I think is the difference mainly if you go for like a cheaper shoe but I do love the look of these and the platform is just amazing. Totally check out ASOS if you're looking for a more affordable uh, kind of Oxford deal because I know Jeffrey Campbell definitely has some Oxfords and like more platform shoes as well but they also have affordable ones out on the internet as well. So lastly I'm going to show you guys two pairs of heels because that's pretty much all I have now like I really narrowed down my heel collection because I just don't really wear them that often. If I'm going to something fancy, I might just wear some like nice boots or Oxfords instead. So this first pair is definitely like my go-to pair of heels. If I'm going anywhere, I wore them on my birthday last year and I wore them to two weddings and they look like this. They are velvet, chunky, platform heels from ASOS and I just adore them. They are so, so cute. I love how vintage they look and this heel is like truly so thick. It's like pretty heavy to be honest but I just love how they look and they weren't too expensive because they were from ASOS, which is also amazing. This next pair is also velvet and they are more of a statement shoe. They're from Topshop and they are these chunky, kind of like 60s inspired platform heels. I love the circular buckle and again, the thick heel and the velvet, they're just so neat. So there you have it. That's my entire shoe collection on the ground and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a trip. I'm sure I'm definitely gonna get more shoes in the future because that's just the way that I roll, but feel free to leave your favorites from my collection and favorites from yours in the comments because I would love to read all about them. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. <laughs>